Hey guys, what's going on? Snacky here today, uh, bringing you a bit of info about a new console that, uh, that should be soon to hit the market called the Ouya. Now, uh, this is a really interesting idea for a console, so it's going to run off sort of an Android operating system, and it's just going to be a $99 console, uh, which is made for game developers. So apparently it's going to have some development kits built into the uh, console itself so developers will just be able to make games and they're sort of focusing on not having any licensing or publishing fees but just being able to you know chuck your game up on the little in-game OER store or whatever they choose to have um, and every game that is published has to be free to play uh, for like a trial period or whatever that is so that uh, you know, they really want to make a cheap game, and I think a lot of the games will be sort of free to play, um, and all that sort of thing. So, they have looked at some other games, uh, such as Team Fortress 2, League of Legends, and Triple Town, or whatever that is, uh, you know, to look for, um, what would you call it, a bit of inspiration for the free to play stuff. Um, uh, because they are all quite successful games, although I don't know about Triple Town, I really don't know what that is, but TF2 and League of Legends, uh, you know, m played uh, quite widely, so uh, yeah, and um, basically, uh, apparently you can download any app that is uploaded to like the Android App Store or whatever they've got, um, uh, and any app can be published and all that sort of thing. So the specifications are it's running off a Tegra 3 quad core processor. It's got a gig of RAM, it's got uh, Bluetooth, Wi Fi, it's full HD 1080p, uh, it's got a HDMI point, it's got USB 2.0 port, um, all that sort of thing. So it sounds pretty good. Um, and one thing they're already sort of uh, focusing or mentioning that should be included is that you can just stream Twitch TV straight onto your Ouya so if you're a, someone who watches like those uh, big Starcraft 2 battles or whatever you know you like watching your uh, gaming competitions uh, or just watching some live stream like Minecraft or something like that then I guess you'd just be able to do that right through your TV um, just through your Ouya so really what they're doing is they're trying to focus on getting gaming back to the TV and uh, they're doing this by wanting to create a really really lovely looking controller one that's great to play with and um, you know just one that looks feels great and uh, you know you don't have to worry about uh, failing you when you're you know in an intense gaming situation or whatever that may be um, so yeah, uh, only $99, which I think is a really good price. It sounds like a, quite a good console, um, and any developer can publish games to the little in-game store, so they're really looking uh, to make the console developer-friendly, um, just so, you know, uh, everyone can have fun on it, and, uh, you know, it'll be really good to see what uh, people can just do, because, I mean, a, a lot of people don't have the resources, uh, you know, the time, money to put in games, even though they might have great ideas. So I think this will enable a lot of stuff like that to, um, you know, come out, which I think is great. Um, so I reckon it sounds pretty good. It's pretty cheap. Um, and because anything will be on there, everything is free to play for some sort of a trial period, uh, which is good because it means you can test run everything uh, to an extent. And, uh, yeah, so, at the moment, uh, it's sort of been a community thing. So, right now, as I'm recording this, um, they wanted $950,000, uh, before they sort of begun developing the Ouya console. And, um, at the moment, there's been $3.8 million pledged. Uh, they've got 29,700 people backing it, and there's still 27 days left. Uh, in the pledge, so uh, on August 9 at 1 a.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Saving Time or something, I don't know, wherever it is, uh, that's when they're going to be funded, so they're way over their um, 
you know, w what they were expecting to get from the community, which I think is great, uh, because it means that they're getting a clear sign that people really want this console to happen. So I think this would be really good for developers. I think it'll bring a whole lot of new and great games onto the market. So I think that this is something that we should definitely look out, out for in the future. Uh, it's only coming into development uh, in the coming month, really, so don't expect it to be out uh, by, you know, like the end of this year, but I'd say um, in about a year's time, uh, we could be starting to hear a lot more information about it, um, although there might be some, like, test runs and all that sort of thing, or, like, a really cheap uh, beta version of it out, um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Make sure you check the link in the description for the article, uh, or if you want to go pledge or you know just learn a little bit more about what they're trying to do with this new console. But I will see you guys later.